Question 22, the measure of angle R is two pi over three radians. The measure of angle T is five pi over 12 radians greater than the measure of angle R. What is the measure of angle T in degrees? Okay, there are a few ways to go about this problem. Um, so angle R is two pi over three and angle T is this much greater. So why don't we add them? So we'll do two pi over three plus five pi over 12. This will give you angle T because it's that much greater than R. Let's do that in the calculator. Okay, so let's go two thirds plus a new fraction, five twelfths. It tells you it's 13 over 12. So this becomes 13 pi over 12. And this is still in radians. Now we have to convert that to degrees. Um, if you know how to convert to degrees immediately, that's great. Uh, I'll show you that it's also on the formula sheet. So let's take a look at the formula sheet. And over here in the formula sheet, it says the number of degrees of arc in a circle is 360. The number of radians of arc in a circle is two pi. That means 360 degrees is the same as two pi in radians. We'll use that. Let's go back to the question. So we would like to convert this to degrees. And we saw earlier that um, in the formula sheet that 2 pi is 360 degrees. Uh, a convenient way is to divide this by 2. And then you would get the relationship uh, pi is 180 degrees. 360 divided by 2. Go ahead and use a calculator and you'll see it's 180. So pi is 180. OK. And then with that, we could do that this is 13 over 12. And instead of pi, you put in 180 degrees. That's one way to go about this, because pi is 180. Then you get 13 times 180 over 12. Let's use the calculator for that. Of course, uh, you can see that the 13 over 12 is just more than one, and 195 is just more than one, uh, just, just slightly larger than 180. But let's use the calculator, of course. So here we go. 13 times 180 over 12. Or the fraction way is better. Let's, let's do that one. 13 times 180 over 12. You get 195. So the final answer is 195 degrees, which is option C. And the other way to do this is to do everything in degrees from the very beginning. Let's go over that method. Okay, so angle R is 2 pi over 3. And, and so angle R, or the measure of angle R, is, well, 2 pi over 3, what I want to do is convert that to degrees. So, you know, so it's 2 pi over 3. And we saw that pi is 180. So 2 times 180 over 3. If you use this, if you use a calculator for this, let's go ahead and do that. You'd get the fraction 2 times 180 over 3. And that's 120 degrees. So angle R is 120 degrees. OK. And let's do angle T is 5 pi over 12 greater. Well, what is 5 pi over 12? Let's convert that to degrees as well. So 5 pi over 12. And once again, pi is 180 degrees. You can put a degree symbol there, but 180 is what we need. And so you have this number. Calculator uh, allows us to compute that. So you get 5 times 
times 180 divided by 12, it is 75 degrees. So this is 75 degrees. Be careful, that's not the final answer. That is, angle T is 75 degrees more than 120. So the final step would still be 120 degrees plus 75 degrees. And you would get, let's use the calculator again, 120 plus 75, 195. So 195 degrees. And that is option C. And that's doing the entire problem with degrees uh, from the very beginning.